As you can see, I'm leaving this house. What about Sayaka? I don't care. I'm not taking her with me. I'll take custody of Sayaka and raise her with care. It's pathetic not being able to afford shoes because of the price. It's sad not being able to buy something like that either. Let's go. Dad, who is it? Welcome home. I'm at dinner right now. Are you going to eat? I ate out. Oh, really? You've been eating out a lot lately. Is that sarcasm? Are you telling me not to waste my money? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, no, that that's not what I meant. But I'm tired. I'll take a bath and go to bed. Uh, sure. I am Takuya Shimada, 27 years old, just an ordinary businessman. Honestly, life with my wife Haruka is not going well. Since our daughter Sayaka was born, Haruka has been dining out and staying out more. I do all the housework, cooking, and cleaning. Come to think of it, Haruka has never made me a lunchbox. Takuya-san, may I join you? Ah, yes, of course. She's a temporary employee, Rika, known for her refined beauty. She's an idol-like figure for male colleagues. I sometimes help her with work. Huh? Is this all for lunch today? Ah,、uh, I didn't have time to make a bento. Your wife doesn't make lunch for you? Didn't you tell me she's a housewife? My wife hardly cooks. I do all the housework. Huh? Working and doing household chores isn't that tough? Well, it can be tough sometimes. Unbelievable! If I were her, I'd make lunch for you every day. What? Oh, it's nothing. If you don't mind, I'll make lunch for you sometime. Really? Is that okay? Does she? N- no, that that can't be. I started to think that maybe Rika liked me, but. With a personality like hers and being so cute, it's impossible for her not to have a boyfriend. That's what I thought at that time. Haruka, when did you get home? Just now. My work starts at 9 a.m. So, could you at least take Sayaka to daycare in the morning? What? Are you complaining? Why don't you say that when you get promoted? Promotion? I've already told you that it's difficult for me to get promoted. Then just shut up and do the chores. There's no need for you to say like that. You're so annoying. I just stay out a little, and you're making a fuss. Hey, what are you doing? As you can see, I'm leaving this house. What about Sayaka? I don't care. I'm not taking her with me. Don't you have a responsibility as a parent? I've had enough of these lectures. Whether I'm married or being a parent, don't I have the right to have a little fun? Hey, wait a minute! I'll come back when I feel like it. I've had enough. Let's get a divorce. Hmm, <laughs> that's fine. I'll take custody of Sayaka and raise her with care. Go ahead. And so, Haruka and I divorced, with me taking custody of our daughter Sayaka. After the divorce, balancing work and household chores was hard. And I thought meeting someone was just a dream. Seriously, Rika-san, this doesn't match what I asked for you to do. I'm very sorry. Rather than apologies, double check the roughly, okay? Is there something wrong? This documents need a lot of corrections. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my mistake in instructions. Huh? Come on, Shimada-kun. I have high expectations for you. I will revise and submit it to you by the end of the day. Takuya-san, thank you very much. No problem. He tends to be a bit overdramatic. Let's work on the corrections together. Is it really okay? I know you're busy. Not at all. I have plenty of free time. I was married, so I never paid attention to her. But I never imagined that there would be such a turnover events after this. Huh? I wonder who it's from. What? How does it taste? Rika-chan, your cooking is amazing. It's incredibly delicious. I'm glad. I included lots of Takuya-san's favorite food. Huh? How does she know my favorite food? I'm glad I asked you what you liked at the company's year-end party. What? You remember that? Could she really like me? No, it must be my imagination. I'm once divorced after all. 
A sophisticated beauty like her wouldn't fall for any ordinary guy like me. Is something wrong? Oh uh, 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 no, it's nothing. By the way, Rika Chan, do you have a boyfriend or something? There's someone I like. Really? Are you not going to confess your feelings? I mean, I'm sure that person you're talking about likes you too. Then, do you like me? Huh? Uh, well. I'm sure you can't feel that way right now. But if you could think about me, I'd be happy. Uh, well. Oh, lunch break is over. I'll excuse myself now. Oh yeah, thanks for lunch. Hey, are you dating Rika Chan? Huh? No, it's not like that. Weren't you eating a homemade lunch together on the rooftop the other day? How did you even know about that? Because there's no one in the office who doesn't know about it. <laughs> well, it's not like that. Rika Chan, I think we should keep our distance at work. Huh? Why? It seems like everyone's getting suspicious. Is it because you don't want our relationship to be revealed? Well, it's like I'm not quite ready yet. Honestly, I like her, but just after getting divorced, if our dating gets exposed, I'm not sure what people might say, especially about Rika Chan. Are you worried because you just got divorced recently? Well, yeah. Do you like me? What? Do you see me as a woman? Well, of course. I think you're a wonderful woman. Then it's okay. I won't care about what others think. The most important thing is Takuya-san's and my feelings. Rika-chan, we were getting closer each day, but as expected, negative rumors about Rika-chan started to spread in the company. It would be fine if we could be open about it, but suddenly, I became scared about the situation. I'm scared that someone important might leave me again. I was fighting against that fear every day. Rika John, you know, can we maybe keep a distance at work? Huh? But you said you liked me just last week. I wasn't lying about those feelings, but there are also unfavorable rumors going around. You're indecisive. I'm sorry. Okay, I understand. I get how you feel. From that day on, a distance started to grow between us. Good work today. Thank you. She's still upset. I try to protect her by keeping my distance, but instead, I'm on the verge of losing her. And finally, I realized how much I loved her, and how much I needed her. Rika John, would you consider dating me? Huh? I realized how big your presence is to me. I have a daughter, so I was scared to start a new relationship, but I regretted rejecting you, who accepted me when I was in my rock bottom. Takuya-san. And just like this, our relationship naturally deepened little by little. Oh, Takuya-san. What's up? I made cookies, so I thought I'd bring them to your place. Mom. Uh huh. What? I want to eat mom's cookies. Mom? And then, eleven years later, I had no idea what Haruka was doing, or if she's remarried. I lived my life without knowing anything about her situation. Haruka, Saka, shall we go shopping for shoes? Yeah. Which one do you want? It's pathetic not being able to afford shoes because of the price. It's sad not be able to buy something like that either. The shoes here are super cheap. I could buy ten pairs without looking at the price. <laughs> Let's go. Dad, who is it? Wait. Since we're here, let me introduce him. He's my fiance and an entrepreneur. We currently live in a luxury condo. Luxury condo, huh? Right now the rent is eight hundred thousand yen, but we're planning to move to a place that costs around one million next month. Are you still living in that rundown house? It was so cramped and unbearable. If only I had met Ryo sooner, I wouldn't have wasted time living with someone like you. I moved. Huh? Did you move to an even smaller apartment? Ah, <sighs> glad I divorced you quickly. That's my line. And you're still single? No one's going to be interested in you since you have no chance of being promoted. Sorry to keep you waiting, honey. Honey? What's going on? 
I was picking my shoes. Yeah, you were choosing, right? Oh, wait a minute. Isn't this woman your junior employee at the company? Why is she here? Oh, are you his ex wife? Wow, you've changed so much. I didn't recognize you. Excuse me? Do you have something to say to my husband? What? Are you two married? Yes, we got married about 10 years ago. Does it concern you? It very much does. Married 10 years ago? So you were cheating on me back then? What are you talking about? Stop saying something that's not true. I'll be claiming alimony. Do whatever you want. I just wanted to leave that situation, so I cut off the conversation. I thought I would never see Haruka again, but she somehow found my new address. I'll forgive the affair from 11 years ago, so can you lend me around 8 million yen? You barged into my house, and the first thing you talk about is money? <laughs> you should be grateful that I'm not demanding alimony. That guy you were with the other day? He's an entrepreneur, right? Why did you borrow from him? Ugh, I don't know where he is. He's probably not even a real entrepreneur, right? I know everything. You know what? Rika mentioned it. That guy was just a scammer, right? She told me he's into gambling and have a lot of debt. He was successful 12 years ago. So you were dating him while still married to me? You were cheating after all. I didn't cheat, I just made a mistake. You turn away because I had no chance of getting promoted and had no money, right? I didn't turn away, it's just that I thought you weren't the type to succeed. I might have said something harsh. You're successful in a different field now, aren't you? I heard that you succeeded in plastic models. I knew it. You knew about my business and came to borrow money from me. Breaking up with you was the right decision. Didn't I give the inspiration to start plastic models? I even gave you ideas. Don't you remember? Are you. Are you telling me I have to give you part of the earnings because you gave me an idea? I think I have the right to have 30% of the earnings. Do you even know what you're saying? If I used your ideas and skills and succeeded, it would be different. But you just told me I should try plastic models because my hands are skilled. When we were a student. If I didn't tell you back then, you wouldn't be successful like this now, right? So, can't you understand that I played a part in your success? <sighs> If I give you the money, will you leave right away? Well, today's main topic isn't about money. Will you reconsider getting back together with me? That's absolutely impossible and out of the question. Is it because you're remarried? But think about it. Our daughter needs her real mother. I don't think we understood that when we separated. But as she grows up, she'll likely start missing her biological mother. No need to worry about that. Sayaka doesn't remember you. I'll ask Sayaka directly. Let me meet her. She's not home right now. She's out with my wife. She doesn't remember? How can you tell such lies? No. She really doesn't seem to remember you. When Sayaka was little, you were often out and cheating, so you weren't at home. Haruka san, why did you come all the way here? We decided to get back together for the sake of our daughter. Huh? What nonsense are you talking about? I never said anything like that. Mom, who's this person? Huh? Sayaka? Hey, Mom, I'll help you make dinner. Thank you, Sayaka. Can you wait in your room for a bit? Okay. See? She doesn't remember you at all. You brainwashed her. I haven't said anything. Sayaka chan thinks of me as her real mother. Since 11 years ago. While you were away, I cooked and took her to the park. So there are no memories with you. Now you understand, right? Please don't interfere with us anymore. Haruka san? I know that you were cheating on Takuya when you were still married to him. And you left Sayaka chan behind to go on trips with your affair partner. Huh? What baseless accusations are you making? You went on a trip with a man we saw you with at the department store, right? I have evidence too. Would you like to see it? I. I don't really need to see that. At 
that time, my relationship with Takuya was already falling apart. So, that doesn't count as cheating. I didn't think our marriage was falling apart, though. There seems to be evidence of you cheating, so... I'll be claiming alimony from you. That's an old story. It's already passed the statute of limitations. No? For adultery, it seems you can claim alimony within 20 years. N no way. I'll be making the claim through a lawyer, so be prepared. Please, I really don't have that kind of money now. That man co-signed me and put me in debt. That's not my concern. Your inability to see through that con artist is partly your fault too. You brought it up on yourself. I've been messed up until now, so please. If it's difficult to reconcile, at least give me Sayaka's custody. Do you have a job now? Also, you just mentioned carrying a significant debt. I can't entrust custody to someone with a massive amount of debt. That man also left me. I'm all alone. At least let me have our daughter. How can you say you're the mother? Are you trying to use Sayaka-chan to fill your loneliness? You didn't even try to support Takuya-san during his difficult times. And instead, you enjoyed yourself with another man elsewhere. Even Sayaka-chan, despite her young age, maybe she desperately tried to forget her mother's existence. I don't want to hear that from someone who has never been a mother. I am Sayaka's mother. You're not her real mother. I've said it many times, but shouldn't a biological mother raise her? Then why haven't you raised her from 11 years ago until now? You became lonely after your boyfriend left, and when you felt lonely, you suddenly needed a daughter? It's not like that. To someone with a selfish thinking, I can't possibly entrust custody. And I would talk to my lawyer and ask them to refrain from any contact with Sayaka until she's an adult. N no! Think about how irresponsible your action have been towards us and make sure to reflect on that. Please, I beg you, forgive me. After that, Haruka ended up taking over the debts created by the self-proclaimed entrepreneur. While working part-time jobs, she's still living in a small apartment. As for us... Hey, let's buy this. Huh? Why? Isn't it too small for Sayaka? Not for Sayaka, but for the baby that will be born soon. What? Really? Did you enjoy the story? Despite working hard for the family, just because being deviated from the career track, being cheated by your wife is truly painful, isn't it? But no matter the reason, if you look down on others or act irresponsible, that person will inevitably face divine retribution. Thank you for watching until the end! If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel!